Hello and welcome to another match here on WWE 2K22. Today we have a pure championship, not pure championship, we have a pure rules match, let's say, uh, which we'll get into during the match. This one suggested by Matt2009. He wanted to see Brian Danielson going one-on-one -on -one against Nigel McGuinness. Right, so pure rules are in action, which essentially we try and push wrestling. We try and push that. Rather than fighting or brawling, we try and push map-based wrestling and the only way to win these matches is by submission therefore it does um it does help for people to i'm trying a different brian danielson for a change i'm not sure if i like it more than the other one or not to be honest but hey ho um yeah it will help for you help encourage people to use more technical based work on body parts and therefore try and keep it more pure I'm not sure about this brian to be honest compared to our normal one and up against, of course, Nigel McGuinness. Absolute legend in technical wrestling. And, of course, our SWE European champion. Won the belt away from Ivan Kolov on our Forbidden Door pay-per-view. And now his first match since winning that championship is one-on-one -on -one with arguably one of the best technical wrestlers in history in Brian Danielson. The bell goes and we are underway. So one of the other rules on this one is uh, ring outs are limited to five seconds. To try and discourage people leaving the ring as well. For some reason, in a singles match, it is impossible to turn ring outs off. I don't know why. Um, it's a real stupid thing, to be honest with you. But that's the way the game runs, I suppose, isn't it? Well, it doesn't run. So for some reason, my, my outside security light keeps coming on over and over and over again. I'm not sure why, because there's nothing out there. So I'm really confused why it keeps coming on. So McGinnis now in control of Danielson, throws him into the corner. I think this is the first match that Matt has ever suggested. Thank you very much to you. Uh, it was straight off of the back of the um, Forbidden Door pay-per-view after McGinnis won that European Championship away from Ivan Kolov. Is it Ivan Kolov? I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused between Ivan Kolov, Nikolai Volkov, um, Pudra Nikobolikov. It was Ivan Kolov, who won the belt from Nikolai Volkov. Danielson now with a back elbow and in with that lovely dragon suplex. McGuinness is back up, but Danielson with a boot in the gut. Ducks underneath the strike and a big boot in the gut by McGuinness. Danielson now with a kicks away into the car before sending McGuinness into the corner. Danielson a bit slower than what we normally see him. But is that more of his technical base, I suppose? Uh, so, yeah, we are looking to bring in a pure championship in the future. And these two are definitely people that will be interested in being involved in that division, I would imagine. Um, and the rules will be fought in exactly the same as this. So we're going to be uh, looking to... Uh, what's the word of it? Not, I was going to say educate. Educate is the completely wrong word. We're going to try and reward technical-based wrestlers, and uh, especially for their technical wrestling, submission-based as well. But of course, we're going to use people from across all history, so we can use the likes of Bret Hart in this, Dean Malenko, Owen Hart as well, of course. Um, who else is a real classical... I'm sure there'll be a few people out there that know Japanese wrestling more than me. I'm sure there's a lot of very, very good Japanese technical wrestlers that I know nothing about. So uh, make sure to let me know about those as well uh, in the comments. But probably best off over on Discord because that's where I get... I, I find that a bit easier to keep track of stuff. On YouTube, it gets so many comments across so many videos. It's difficult sometimes. But yeah, I'm sure there'll be a load of them up there. But we can have a really, really good um, submission-based pure tournament. But at the moment, we are celebrating the Great American Bash for the next week or two with a... A lot of really cool matches, culminating, of course, in a big match um, for the North American Championship. Not quite sure who that's going to be between as of yet. 
Of course, we know the North American champion is now MJF after our Forbidden Door pay-per-view, but it's all down to who will be facing MJF for that championship. And we've got a few options for number one contenderships. Um, I've had a few suggestions over on Discord, so we'll probably end up using one of those. We basically want just a bunch of American heroes, so probably the likes of, I don't know, who really, well, Hogan always played the American hero role, I suppose. Maybe Dusty Rhodes, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. It's more of a classical thing. You don't see many these days, do you, really? I suppose Kurt Angle, the all-American hero, would be one. Would Jack Swagger count? I don't know. Gable Stevenson, maybe, because he did compete for America in the Olympics. Am I just clutching for straws now? Sorry, the security lights come on again. It's really freaking me out. I saw something fly by. I think it's a butterfly. McGuinness now taking Danielson up on the top. What is the plan here? A big strike in the face of Danielson, who's flopped here. Realize I haven't named the video. There we go. Danielson now diving from the top with the cutter. Super cutter. And this will be a huge win for McGuinness. Don't get me wrong. He is the European champion. However, getting a victory against someone like Brian Danielson can only be good for him here. Uh, where does he currently sit in the old rankedy doodars? Is that a tap out? It is. McGuinness gets the win. Well, there we go. Uh, Nigel McGuinness uh, was up on plus seven. He's now going to move. Sorry, was up on plus six. Now he's going to move to a plus seven. Whereas Brian Danielson was higher up than that, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, Brian Danielson was up on a plus seven. He's now going to move down to a plus six. So McGuinness has just overtaken Danielson in the rankings with that victory. That's a huge win for Nigel McGuinness here. So once again, thank you, Matt. 2009. I think it was 2009. It was, yeah. For your suggestion, uh, any more, of course, drop them in the comment section down below or over on Discord. And I will love you and leave you and see you all next time. Good night. God bless. I feel the same. Bye-bye.